you and the same clear i wish to film this standing yes but i'm so scared that i'm gonna get tired also i think filming a video while you're standing is weird but i mean <laughs> i look so nice damn Welcome back to my channel. My name is Siam Tanandamase. If you're new here, welcome home. And I hope you guys love the content that I've been serving you guys. And I hope you subscribe. If you haven't, please get to subscribe and please don't say subscribe ASAP. And could you please, guys, um check my second last video where I talk about where I actually went to review an Airbnb because that's the content I plan on serving you guys, you know. I plan on serving you nothing but the best and I plan on always giving you guys information. All right. So, um if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. Today's video is basically me answering questions. So, I posted on Instagram, Twitter, on my social media platforms basically where i ask people to ask me questions anything that they've always wanted to know so that i can film an updated q a but before we get to any of that i just want to say thank you so much guys for supporting my content thank you so much for following me on instagram oh let me put this phone on silent thank you so much for following me on instagram thank you for following me on twitter i just crossed 30k sub um wow subscribers guys that's how much i wanted actually god i receive 30k subscribers um i just crossed 30k followers on twitter so thank you so much guys for that please follow me on twitter and on instagram um yes so the questions are from all of my social media platforms basically and i'm just going to be answering them here but before i get to that i noticed that people always ask me what do i use on my lips this is not a lipstick so i basically mix different things i first line out my lips to be as big as i want them to be or to be as small as i want them to be but i actually always make them big so to be as big as i want them to be and then i use wow guys like i don't believe this i don't believe this hey <laughs> i don't like people that waste my time like if we had an appointment for a certain time please i dare to that like just respect my time like if you had an appointment for a certain time please just make sure that because i i really don't appreciate it one go and i was supposed to do this thing with this person early morning and now it's one and then they expect me to stop whatever i'm doing and do that for them anyway sorry guys my lips back to my lips so um i use a brown liner to basically line them out and then i use this lipstick um which you can get at clicks discam or i think any makeup store um but i've seen it at clicks i've seen it at discam as well and then this is from signature guys it's from signature cosmetics the signature signature cosmetics this is from there this is bomb af and then i use the lip therapy to make it shiny because it's gonna be matte so anyways um here are the questions that you guys asked me and i'm basically gonna be answering them out here there's a lot of them i'm just gonna try my best to make sure that i answer most of the questions right okay oh guys i'm so sorry i have to i actually screenshot all of the um all of the questions so now i have to go to them so the first question is um thank you so much asipi for this question why did you start your youtube channel right and it goes on to say what do you love most about being a youtuber so basically i started my youtube channel um because it's for me it's kind of like my free space to be creative where i don't have to be managed by anyone or try to be something i'm not so i started it because i wanted a platform where i could be myself and actually speak um to people be it passing on information or basically like showing you guys whatever it is that i'm up to so that's the main reason why i started it i just wanted um i've always like pictured myself being in a reality show i mean since i was in what like 
like i started watching the kardashians that's when i was like i actually like reality shows so i plan on having one one day and i was like you know what how's about you just do a youtube channel you know so i'm like okay it's something similar to a reality show where i'd want to pass on information where i'd want to engage with people one-on-one -on -one, and where i would you know grow my self-confidence and be able to be in front of the camera because a camera can be very intimidating so for me it's it, 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 it benefits me in so many ways as much as it benefits the next person because the information that i pass on here is to be received by people and i want those people to receive it and to use it more like my airbnb series or my um best off series basically i want people to receive information of the best um the best places the most affordable places that they could go to as people so basically to pass on information that's my main reason and to get a space where i can be myself you know and just enjoy myself um what do you love most about being a youtuber oh my goodness i love the creative freedom um i love the fact that i no one is telling me how to do things i do them the way that i want to do them the way i've always um imagined for an example before i i i started it or before i, I film any episode i first plan it I plan every single thing to where I'm going to sit, how I'm going to sit, how I want to address, how clear I want my points to be. Like every single detail. I plan it myself. I don't have somebody else saying do it this way. So I really, really like like that. And um, what else do I like about being a YouTuber? The fact that I get to educate people. The fact that I get to pass on information to people. The fact that there's people that are receiving the content I am putting out and those people engage with me, which is you who's watching this right now, which is you who subscribe to my channel right now. So, you know, those things make me very, very happy, guys. Like, very happy. Okay. Um... Kitty says, name and declare your dream job and company you want now. Um, you know what? I'm going to try to answer this question in the best way possible in a way that I'm not going to be seem like I'm hiding too much information. But at the same time, I'm not going to leak my plans. So basically, um, I see myself as a powerhouse, which is something that I always say. Like if you know me and if you follow me on Instagram, on especially on Twitter, it's there in my bio. Like I'm a powerhouse. Like... A powerhouse for me is a person as a person who's a jack of all trades so i've always wanted to do a lot of things i want to I, I want to be in the advertising industry as much as i want to be in the entertainment industry that is television presenting as much as i want to be um in production as much as i want to one day have my own agency so it's like i don't know how to put it there's so many things that i want to do there's so many things that I want to achieve so that's my dream job to be a powerhouse to be a person that's a business herself to be for an example do you see i know this example is kind of like cliche but i mean she's one of the successful um brands in the country bonang mateba do you see how she is she's got B bng she's got um bme which is bonang mateba entertainment she's got um her clothing line her lingerie line she's got so many things going on for herself as much as she produces her own um shows she's she's got her own movie public figure so that type of person is a powerhouse that's how i see myself i want to do so many things i want to achieve so many things so that's my dream job i don't have a single job that i want to do i want to do a lot and i am doing exactly that and i'm going to succeed in exactly that what company do i want to work for now your guys yo i'd love to right now i'd love to work for nestle i'd love to work for ilovo i'd love to work for um which other company would i love to uh, agencies i'd love to work for dna brand architects wink wink kitty i'd love to work for what's this other one that i there's actually a new one that i found this week and i've been researching about it and whoo shaky it's shaky i'd love to go work there and then um what are you most suddenly see where says what are you most grateful for if given a chance what would you do differently growing up what am i most grateful for honestly is my family I'm, I'm so grateful that i've got such a supportive family i'm so grateful for my sister i'm so grateful for my siblings that they're so supportive and they believe in each and everything i put out there 
I'm so grateful for so many things, man, that every blessing that God has given me, the opportunities, guys, that come my way, the brands that come and work with me, the brands that listen to my ideas that I have for them and the brands that I send proposals to and the brands that are just always interested in seeing me grow. I am so grateful for Barry, um, who um, works at KWV in Cape Town. That man has given me... I'm so grateful for so many things, man. Opportunities, family. I'm so grateful for life. I'm so grateful for the lessons. I'm so grateful for the challenges that I come across because they make me a better person. They help me to grow. I'm grateful for all of that. If given a chance, what would you do differently growing up? Yes, in Johnny, I actually thought about this question and I was like, you know what? If I had changed a small detail growing up, I don't think I would be where I'm at. So I wouldn't change anything, to be honest, because I believe everything I went through and everything I did was so I could get here and be this person and even more. So now I'm starting to elevate. I'm starting to grow because of the lessons that I learned along the way, because of the things I met along the way. So I wouldn't change a single thing, honey. I wouldn't change. What's something you hope people receive from your brand? information i hope they receive information i hope they receive inspiration i hope they receive relatability like i want to be that brand that makes people believe that they can do it because i did it okay um asking for a neighbor or single now mind you i'm double i'm double i'm double um okay this question is about what really happened with the next brand ambassador. Please go watch um, my other video where I actually talk about this. I, I'll, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, I don't think I want to talk about it. But I'm okay. I'm over it. But I don't want to talk about it because I feel like it will involve people's names and that's not good. And that's not what I do. I don't talk about other people. So no, and I don't want to speak malicious of anyone but i just want to say everything happens for a reason i know you but i don't oh i know you but i don't so what exactly are you passionate about i feel like my first answer my other answer answered this question basically i like saying basically guys i'm please forgive me i know how to speak english i know people usually say if a person repeats the same Work, they don't know how to speak english or perhaps i don't know how to speak english okay i know you but i don't um so what exactly are you passionate about i'm passionate about a lot of things i'm passionate about becoming a powerful house becoming one of the biggest influencers and game changers in the industry so mostly i really really enjoy marketing and the funny thing is that i enjoy each and every single thing that it comes with but it's very challenging to get into that industry because I think a lot of people studied it and or actually maybe not even like a lot of people studied that. But even a person who didn't study that but has experience in marketing, they actually get the job more than the person that doesn't have experience and actually studied um, marketing. But mostly I'm passionate about advertising. Um I'd love um, to actually grow in that industry so that I can also, um, I think it would help me develop my brand even more, like to grow even more. Because I feel like whatever information I have now, I don't think it's good enough for me to actually be confident and sit down and say, you know what, I have it figured out. So I'd love to learn more because it helps. I feel like each and everything that I want to do or I'm doing in my life, it ends up connecting at the top. So each, like me getting within or deeper into oh honey me getting the sliding door's not closed guys that's why sorry so today i tried new light settings and i feel like this is not going to be the same as the previous one that's my main worry but yeah, I'm so stressed. And I don't know how I set that up. I don't know how I did it, but I did it somehow. Okay, so anyways, um, as I was saying, everything that I've done and everything that I'm doing is just for it one day to make one big brand or to help develop one big house. You know, powerhouse, that is. Um, 
in the evening would you rather play a game visit a relative or watch a movie or read huh in the thank you for this question it's very relaxed um in the evening i think i would rather um read a book or watch a movie i really um prefer reading before i sleep or when i wake up early morning because i don't know how to read during the day guys i really don't even with studying I, I don't know how to do it um so i think i prefer to read a book or to watch a movie but if i had to choose between watching a movie and reading a book probably i'd choose watching a movie and probably it would be a chick flick um okay there's questions that i screenshot from twitter actually How have you kept going? How have I kept going? I think I just remind myself of what my goal is. And I think like when you're surrounded by great people and you're surrounded by, by you're surrounded by amazing friends that just keep making big moves, you don't relax. Like there's no way you're going to relax when people around you are winning. I keep going because I, I know what my goal is. I, rem I always remind myself of what my goal is, which is my why as to why I'm doing the things I do. I keep going because the people around me keep going. My family keeps me going. My friends keep me going. I mean, guys, my friend Harrison just joined Gaga CFM. And I am so happy for him because I know how he wanted it. And he went for it. And he got it. And he's excelling at it. I'm so proud of him. Um, What's my biggest life lesson? I think just knowing that nothing is personal. Like, it's never personal. And that has taught me to not take things to heart. I'm learning bit by bit to not take things to heart. So I think just just remember that it's not personal. Like whatever battle, whatever a, p a person does to you, whatever you're dealing with, it's not for you. Like it's it's not meant to destroy you. It's not coming for you. So just deal with it and keep it moving, you know? Um, what's the one thing you'd want to go back in time and change? I'd say nothing when it comes to me, but when it comes to those around me, guys, I really, really miss my late grandmother and her passing away has like always affected me. And man, she was like my first mom. So obviously it cuts deep. So I think I would go back and spend more time with her and I would save because she passed away when I was doing grade 11. So I would have probably saved a lot of money then for, for me to do nice things for her, for me to appreciate her on Mother's Day. Even if like you just... I just take her to a spa, like nothing big. I think I will like go back and do those things. Just kiss her more and tell her I love her all the time, man. Just those little things, those little moments. How do you deal with Unko? Who does it? say? I, um, my friends know this. And I remember this, this past week, I was speaking to a friend of mine. I'm so sorry, guys. There's here, here. So it keeps distracting me. So this past week, right? I was speaking to a friend of mine and we were just talking about things that we're dealing with. And I was like to her, you know what? I think I'm going to schedule a time for me to actually deal with the, no, I actually didn't say that to her. I said, y'all we'll cry about it later. And then she was like, Skim, why do you reschedule? Like, why do you schedule your cries? So I schedule it and I schedule the rest of the time for me to be productive. So for an example, if something disturbs me today, I'm going to schedule probably 30 minutes for me to go from that thing. And then after that, I'll tell myself, you know what? You've cried about it. You've prayed about it. There's nothing you can do beyond this point. Just go and do the things that you can do. Instead of stressing about things you can't do and you can't control, go control the ones you can. So that's how I keep going. I know it's probably not healthy, but it keeps me going. Um, sorry, I'm just going through all of these questions. And okay. What's the end goal? Where do you see yourself in 20 years? In 20 years, guys, I see myself married to a very handsome gent with some beard. I probably have kids. <laughs> One or two kids. Have a dog. In 20 years, I see myself owning um, holiday homes in the country, outside of the country. Oh my goodness, I receive such great things for myself in by the time the twenty, the next 20 years ends, I receive so many things for myself. I receive success. I receive love. I receive warmth. I receive family. I receive money. Chankuru Chalete. I receive Chalete. Guys, I love money. 
that's my end goal my end goal is to be successful my end goal is to help people that can't help themselves to help the less fortunate guys please do the do the low that you can like even if it means buying someone umbani electricity for 100 rands that goes a long way for the person so i really 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 want to help the less fortunate like that's one thing that i've i've learned and taken from my grandmother from my mother like they always out there donating and it's not like they've got everything but they do the best that they can i've grown up in a home like that i want to do that i want to help where i can be it it's emotional wise emotion counseling people whatever but i just want to help let's just do the law that we can to make a difference you know so i want to be that person who's successful enough to eat and to feed others as well okay guys i lost all of my questions because yesterday i was posting throwbacks Okay, wait. Yeah. Do you like Do you like pole dance routines? Do I even know how to pole dance? Do I even have a pole to do the pole dancing in? I mean, I wouldn't mind learning, but I I I don't have the means to learn how to pole dance like I mean, it's, it's the least of my worries. I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but it's like the least of my worries. You know? Are you single? Can people stop asking me if I'm single, guys? I'm double. I said so. I am not looking for a relationship. I am not looking for a man. I am doing very much um, well where I'm at. I'm not saying I don't have a man. I'm not saying I have a man either, but I'm just okay where I'm at. Okay? Um... So I'm just going on Twitter now to just read the questions because I lost my screenshots. Who's your favorite South African YouTuber? You have to pick one. Jared, how do you how do you make a person do such a thing? Like, how am I gonna pick one? So my favorite South African YouTuber, you guys, there's a lot, but I'm just gonna choose one person because I have to. Probably this 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 hun, eh? Her name is All Small Stuff. Oh, small stuff. I think that's her YouTube handle. I really, really like her. I think she's beautiful. I like her content. She's so authentic and she tells us, I enjoy her story times and I'm always laughing. So I like people that are open and people that are honest and people that, um, I don't know how to put it, but she's, she makes me believe that I'll one day as well get to 20k subscribers. I'll one day get to 100k views. She's so relatable. I like her content. I think she's my favorite YouTuber so far. This, I did not choose any from my friends because I will not do that. I will not be put into that position. No, I like all of my friends. I think they're all amazing YouTubers. Yes, I said it. Um, What have you learned about life so far? Thank you, Asona, for this question. I've learned that it's unpredictable. You never know. Like, it's so unpredictable. You don't even know that you have tomorrow or what's going to happen tomorrow. I mean, before the lockdown, we didn't even know that we'd be here. Locked down in the country. We can't go to other provinces to visit our loved ones. We can't do so many things. We didn't know all of this. It's so unpredictable. Then one day we woke up and there was this pandemic and now we can't do ish about it. Unpredictable, babes. Um, what do you think about people who bring each other down? That's the devil. I'm absolutely the devil. Definitely the devil. Satana. Yeah. Satana. Definitely that's that's just evil. Especially women that bring other women down. I don't get it. Like, why? Like, why do you do that? And does how would you feel if someone did it to you or to your sister or to your kid? Like, what do you gain from bringing somebody else down? I, I, I don't like it. I don't get it. I don't do it. Like, don't do that to other people. Are you planning on having um, any collaborations on your channel? I would love to have collaborations, actually. If you're keen on a collab, hit your girl up. Um, I'd love to have collaborations. I've actually, I have a few lined up with my friends who happen to be YouTubers because I feel like it's easier to actually approach your friend and be like, friend, let's shoot this for my channel and this for your channel. So I'm definitely open when it comes to collaborations. Um, uh, that's it for now. Yeah, because I think I've read I've read most of the questions. But thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Thank you so much for liking my content. Please go on my IG and check my latest IGTV video where I teach you guys how to do your own backdrop at home. Um, 
during this time you can use different things that you have at home but everything is just out there for you please receive the information like this video subscribe comment share let me know what you'd like to see me film next thank you so much for watching guys truly truly appreciate it and my sister did my face today yes her name is onwaba msebi handle on instagram is at hey onwaba please do follow her check her out i think she's amazing she did so well my face looks so good i slept on eat blush guys because wow like what this face honey this face thank you so much for watching my content bye stay safe stay at home wash your hands and sanitize